Hi and welcome to another episode of Peacemake TV. In this video for WordPress, we're going to be taking a look at how we can create custom headers and custom navigation using Elementor and Ocean WP, a great theme to get really creative with. So let's take a look at how we can do all of that right now. Okay, so for this video, we're going to be using WordPress, clean installation at the moment, and we're going to be using the theme Ocean WP. Now, Ocean WP is a great foundation theme that gives you a lot of flexibility without costing anything at all. However, if you want to get the most functionality out of it, I would recommend checking out their plugins. It's a commercial pack that gives you the option to have the entire collection of plugins for one price for an entire 12 months, and you can use that on as many websites as you want. Now, even if you don't want to purchase the entire thing, I would recommend getting the Elementor add-on because this just gives you a ton of extra functionality. Speaking of Elementor, we're going to be using that to create the header template for this particular website. You could use the pro version or the free version. It doesn't matter. Nothing that's going to be covered in this video requires you to have the pro version. However, if you do consider purchasing the pro version, please consider using the link in the description below. It's an affiliate link and it means we get a small percentage of every sale made through those links to help support the channel and what we do around here. Anyway, let's crack on now and take a look at how we can start creating these templates and then calling them up inside the actual Ocean WP theme itself to create custom sections. So to do this, if we take a look on the left hand side, you'll see we've got an option called theme panel. Now this is specific to Ocean WP. What we want in there is the my library section. Once we open that up, you can see we can now go through and create new templates as part of this library, and then we can reference those in various different sections in the Ocean WP theme. Now, this is something we'll take a look at in a few moments once we've created our new template, and then we'll call it up and use it as part of the header. So to do this, we click on Add New. Once we've done that, you can see it takes us through to a very standard looking page or post layout where we've got the basic things like the template name, the actual content itself, and you'll see we've got a whole range of settings that's specific to the Ocean WP theme. On the right hand side, you can see we've got some normal things on there. We've got the post attributes, which is something to do with Elementor itself, where we can go through and choose a particular type of layout. So to get started, we need to do some basics. First thing we're going to do is give it a title. So we're going to call this custom header. Once we've done that, we're going to come down and we're going to specify under the content layout that we want this to be full width. And then finally, we're going to come over to the post attribute section and we're going to set this to Elementor Canvas. Now, the reason we choose the Elementor Canvas is because that strips off any headers, footers and anything else inside the normal standard theme. So we're just going to basically end up with a completely blank canvas to work with, which is great when we start to create custom headers and footers because we don't need all that extra things on all those extra things on there. So once we've done that, we're going to hit publish. So we make sure that we save and commit those changes before we load up Elementor. Once we've done that, we can now click on the Edit with Elementor button, and that'll invoke the Elementor editor itself, and we can start creating our header. So now that we've got our page open and ready to start creating the content, I just want to draw your attention to one thing. If we look on the left-hand side and scroll past the Pro elements that are part of the Elementor Pro installation, you can see we've now got Ocean WP elements. Now this is, again, like I say, this is one of those commercial add-ons that you get that gives you extra functionality. You don't need to have this installed. You don't need to purchase this. But what this does give you is extra control over things like the navigation, logged in, logged out, and some other things that are relevant to creating your own custom headers so i'd highly recommend checking that out and like i say all the benefits you get like i mentioned at the top of this video really do make it a great package to give you a great starting point for creating really feature rich websites using ocean wp okay so taking that into consideration we're going to take a look at using some of those particular widgets in a moment but we're going to start off with something really simple we're going to create the top strip where we're going to put the logo and if we wanted to, we could put things like a logged in, logged out, a welcome message, our social networking buttons, and so on. So to do that, we're just going to use the normal section. We're going to come in and add a new section. We're going to set this to be three columns. Now, you can create this in any kind of style that you want. Just consider the fact this is going to be the header block of your website. So something that's probably going to be at the top of every single page. So put the things that you think are relevant, like shopping baskets and things along those lines in there, to create a really feature-rich header. We're going to keep this pretty simple. We're going to come up and we're going to select this to select the entire row. What I'm going to do is I want to make sure that I set my column gaps to no gap. And then all I'm going to do is 
come back over to the widgets and we're going to select and drag and drop an image into the center one and this is where we're going to put our logo so we're just going to click and I'm going to go to my media library and I've already got a logo uploaded so I'm going to choose that and insert my media and you can see now that puts that in there the image size I'm going to set this to be full because I've set this to the size that I want it to be and once we've done that that's pretty much all I need to do what I would recommend though is coming in and just adding a little bit of margin and padding just to make sure it doesn't sit flush against the top of the page. So for this example, because we're not putting any colors or anything in there, I'm just going to use a margin. So we're going to click and we're going to set a margin on the top of 10 pixels and we're going to set a margin on the bottom of 10 pixels. Okay, so that's all I really need to do. I can come back and tweak any of this at any time. So once I've created my header, if there's things that I think I don't like, or I want to tweak to make sure they fit perfectly, I can just come back and do that. Like I said, if I wanted to, I could call up and put other widgets into the left and the right hand side. So if I wanted to put social media in there, I could drag that up there. But we're going to keep it simple just to show you how this is done. So next up, we're going to add another section. We're going to set this to be a single, single row. And what we're going to do is we're going to come back to these widgets and we're going to scroll down to those Ocean WP elements. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the navigation block and I'm going to drop that in there. So what that's going to do is that's going to reference the Ocean WP menu. And we can style it and we can adjust it and we can do all that in the Ocean WP theme. And we can also control various aspects of it from inside Elementor itself. So we can go through and do whatever we want on there. So we can fine tune it and tweak it and do anything we want. Again, I'm going to come over and just choose this particular row and I'm going to set that to make sure that this has no gap as well. So we don't have any padding and margins and things in there that we don't want. So all I'm going to do is click on save on that and that's created our basic header section. So we've got our logo in there. We've got our navigation in there. If I wanted to add more in, I could do. I can style anything I want on there as well in the rows or columns, blocks, anything at all. But like I say, let's keep this simple. So we'll go and Go to the dashboard. You can see we've now got our custom header. We'll just hit update to make sure that all the, set, the changes are saved. And then we're going to come over to the appearance tab and we're going to come down to customize. And this will load up the customizer for Ocean WP where we can go in and control tons and tons of different features and aspects of this particular theme itself. Now, as you can see, if we take a look at the top, we've got this navigation block and logo, and it's not the one we've just created. To do that, to get that to show up, we need to tell Ocean WP that we want to use that specifically. So that's pretty straightforward. All we need to do is come up to the header section and expand that. You can see we've got a range of different options in there. If we open up general, for example, you can see we've now got a range of different things like the height. We want to have the header full width, header border bottom, and so on, and padding and margins and all that kind of good stuff. But at the moment, it's got minimal set in there, which is what we have at the top. If we want to use our own custom one, we can expand that out. And you can see we've got a range of different options in there, like transparent, top menu, and so on. We've also got custom header. If we click on that, that will just load the page back up a little bit, and it'll go through, and it'll bring up some additional options. Now, you can see that we've got two options. You've got page ID and select template. Now, the page ID is a deprecated method for creating these headers, so it's something that I would recommend you avoid. So we don't need to do that. What we need to do is come out to the Select Template, click on there, and you can see there's our custom header. So anything we put in the custom templates will now show up in any area like this where we can choose those templates. So we click Custom Header. That will go through now and load up our custom header that we've just created. So you can see there's our logo. There's our navigation. So as easy as that, we can put all of that in there. And now if we want to, we can start fine tuning and tweaking this. So within this section, we can go through it and tweak some of those different settings. So say, for example, we don't want this underline or we want to change the color. We can do that very easily. So we can come down, we can say border bottom. So we can take that off. We can change the border color to anything we want. We can change it to red if we wanted. So you can see that immediately changes it. Change it back to any color we want on there. All very quick, very easy. If we don't want to have that on there, we can just uncheck it and that'll get rid of it. We can adjust the height. So if we want to make that larger, smaller, we can do whatever we want in there. If we want to reset it, we can just use the reset arrow. So you can see, again, really quick and really easy. We can control the padding, the margins. If we want to change the background color, we can do that. So let's just say we wanted to set that to be a gray color. And you can see that now sets the entire top block. If we wanted to change just the area for the menu, we could do that inside Elementor itself where we created the custom layout. So let's just set that back to where it was. Let's just go and put that border back in there and let's just go and set, we want a light gray border color. Oop, wrong one. 
border color even. And there we go. So we can easily adjust that. Now, if I jump back out of this, we can go back to any of the other options on this. If we want to change the menu, for example, you can see we've got a whole range of options where we can change various different aspects. So we can set the center, set it to left. We can go through and set padding in between each of the links. We can change any of the colors on there if we want to, any of the drop down styling if we create drop down menus. All these different options are available to us. So we've got a ton of different customization options on there. But as we've seen, we're not limited to just using the Ocean WP options. So let's just save and publish this. And let's just jump back to our template and take a look at that. And we can start to tweak and edit that as well. So let's just come in and edit this. And we can go through and we can fine tune things on this. So let's just say we want to put a background color in there or we want to centralize this. Well, we can hit center, job done. Want to change the text and things, we can do all that. So we can set the typography on there. So we can say, let's just change the weight. Uh, let's just change the font family as well. Let's just say we'll have Open Sans. And there we go. So we can quickly and easily adjust that if we want to. We can come up and we can specify we want this to be full width. So let's just say full width. Stretch the section. Just make sure it'll fit the full width. And we can do things like change the background color now if we want to. So if we wanted to change the background color to anything, we can do that. All very easy borders, shape dividers, we can adjust anything we want on there. And then once we've done that, we can just hit save. And then the page, we've got all those changes now will take effect. And if we just jump over to our test page, we can take a look at that in action. So there you go. There's our page with our grade background, with our navigation, with our custom header, all very simple and straightforward. Now this is a really plain simple example nothing special about it but with the power of elemental and the functionality that ocean wp gives us we can get really really creative and create completely customized headers navigation and so on for our wordpress websites now this is just scratching the surface of what can be done with this combination and over the coming weeks i'm going to be going through in a lot more detail covering various different aspects of using ocean wp and elementor together to create really feature rich websites we're going to take it from the get-go right from scratch and we're going to start off creating a full online blog with all customized layouts and so on all done through ocean wp and elementor so stick around and subscribe to the channel to be kept up to date with all of those new things speaking of which if you enjoy this video please Please give it a thumbs up and smash that subscribe button to be kept up to date with all the new content we add every single week. If you have any comments, questions or feedback on this video or anything else we cover on the channel, please pop those in the comment section below. We'd love to hear from you and we'd love to answer as many questions as possible. And until next time, take care.